I actually have some really great news in regards to NVIDIA graphics cards, something that I'm guessing many of you were not expecting in 2025 because quite frankly, pretty much every little teeny tiny bit of news that we have had over the past like however many years since the 2080 came out i really do not remember how long that has been it's been it's been a minute boys and girls so this right here the rtx 5080 ti graphics card was listed and spotted online but why why is this a big deal why is this good news when seven bajillion quintillion people are about to set up a bot and press a button to buy a million of them and relist them for like roughly $69,000. Watch this. Ready? Kapow. Amazon starts reserving AMD RDNA 4 and RTX 50 series GPUs for Prime members to bring better availability to gamers. Please tell me. Please tell me that you love this just as much as I love this. So in other words, and also please keep in mind, ready for this, I need to show you the date because... This is not some stupid, ridiculous April Fool's prank of nonsensical bullcrap. Same thing here. Not April Fool's Day of nonsensical bullcrap. Your boy fell for it the other day and uh, forgot to look at the date about the 5090 with more ROPs than it was supposed to have. My fault for doing that. For the people that corrected me down in the comments of that video, you were actually correct. So I appreciate that. However, man, I'm very excited for this right here supposed to be 700 bucks right pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be so dude i'm just really excited for this unfortunately your boy literally oh hold up hold up what are the odds of this what are the odds of this please tell me you guys see this hold up so this is a tough gaming graphics card tough gaming graphics card for this computer we're building right here <laughs> what are the odds of that bro <laughs> that's that's kind of funny that's kind of funny <laughs> i wasn't i didn't see that in the article i swear i was not i didn't intentionally do that but uh anyways man let me know what you guys think about this you all voted down in the comment section you're actually enjoying these like actually let's go ahead and read the article before i ran randomly get off topic here um you guys said that you were enjoying the one to two article videos it, it allows me to stay on track and honestly so I'm not going to get too far up top. It's pretty simple for me to explain this. Um, I'm going to keep the business stuff, the entrepreneurship stuff, the random stuff that I talk about because it's always really related to YouTube. It's always related to my struggles on YouTube, what I'm doing on YouTube, what I like about YouTube, how I'm operating my PC business or quote unquote side hustle. It's not really a business because I'm the only one doing it. So I would consider it a side hustle. However, I think that I'm doing pretty well for myself. So it's like business level of income. Either way, um, I'm going to keep that all that stuff for the talks channel. That way I can have things to actually talk about and not feel as though I'm repeating myself because it's that's a big problem that I'm running into and why I have no content on that channel and why it's so hard for a creator like me to to create content across multiple channels because I literally just vomit everything out of my mouth in every single video that I make. And then it makes every other video like really difficult to make because I already vomited everything out and I don't feel like vomiting it all out again. <laughs> I have, I have a, I have a, I have a, um, issue with mouth vomit. So, so this right here, NVIDIA has not announced any RTX 5080 Ti graphics card. In fact, however, there have been some strange instances from various board partners that may suggest something quote unquote better or different that was being prepared at, man, why is that so, why is that worded so weird? However, there have been some strange instances from various board partners that may suggest something better or different was being prepared at some point. Okay. I just had to focus my reading ability there. At least we know the MSI was quiet for the 40, the 5080 and got the 24 gigabyte 5080, which we did cover a video on, which is pretty sweet that they, they were doing that. Um, also, well, 
I was I literally was gonna make a separate video for this, but I mean it's kind of already on my mind. So Intel ended up not producing their graphics card that is like supposed to not be a potato. However, dude, like you gotta the Intel Arc B five eighty, right? No B five eighty and the A seven seventy, they're not necessarily like something I would label good, quote unquote, but they are they are pretty good. You know what I mean? Like the B580 is, is a $300 graphics card. Same. I'm pretty sure the A770 is also like 300 bucks, 300 to 350 bucks. And I know it's not more than 400, either of them. And like the, one has 12 gigabytes. The other has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And I actually get, I get that comment a lot where people ask. So all this stuff's on screen for those of you, cause I know I'm kind of rambling my mouth right now. Um, so I get this question a lot where people are like, why, like, why do you like graphics cards so much? And a really simple way for me to put this for people is like, are you interested in the universe? Like, and I know this is totally not on the same level, but if you're interested in the universe because of what it's capable of and how planets like evolve and how we came into being in life. The reason graphics cards are so interesting for people, at least to me, is because what they're capable of doing. And what what I mean by this is, can you imagine, like, so I'm trying to think of what the 5090 is and the 4090 is. I'm, I want to say like 40 trillion calculations per second is what the 40, I don't remember. I know it's like 50, it's like 40 or 50 trillion. I don't remember. The 50, 90, maybe even more. Maybe the 50, all right, hold on. I gotta, because it's going to annoy me if I don't do it. Google, how many compute calculate or how many, because I don't want it to explain too much. Calculations, can a 50, 90 do per second? Well, either way, I mean, that's more than what I was going to say. So that's even more crazy. So can you imagine? So just to put this into perspective for you, like a 4090 capable of doing that many calculations per second, dude, that's like if every single person, like everyone, every single person alive on this planet right now did one calculation, it would take like, 5,000 Earths to do that. Let that sink in. Five, in order to, for, for people, every person doing one calculation across the entire planet, every single one of us, we would need 5,000 Earths just to do what a graphics card can do in one second. How, how do you not see that being wild and interesting and crazy? And then you like, look at the chip design, dude. And it's so, it's like microscopic levels of, of like design. You got these like freaking little teeny tiny ass CPU, man. It like the, the graphics card, the, the central processing or graphics processing unit. It, it, like a little freaking thing inside a graphics card, dude. And it's got like, like 5 billion transistors in it. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm like getting excited just telling you about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, that's why I find graphics cards interesting and PC gaming interesting, man. It's just because like, it's like, so like you would think like, like the Nintendo 64 was like 1 million, right? In order to like, for, in order for like how like, you got the square out in your like 3D open world and then the actual objects in the open world turn into triangles to like create that boundary to where you can't just like walk through it. And dude, it's just cool how they like how they're able to do that. And I feel like if you really think about it with how like how stuff is now, can you imagine where we get to a point where you can like so, so like, imagine like AI, right? And I know AI, ooh. um, imagine like in order for us to get better performance, AI renders the world, like the world. And then like you, like your like little couple of feet thing is where you're playing the game. 
Because that would mean that all the AI is using performance so that like Forza is a really good example. Like you can even friggin' have a 5090 and, and a f whatever 9800X 3D and it still does this where you're you're like full sending it down a friggin' straightaway, bro. And you're like going like 250 and like all these like fucking little things start like they're like popping up in front of your ass. It's like, bruh, <laughs> it's so annoying. So like doesn't even matter. And I know anybody that plays racing games knows what I'm talking about with this one. <laughs> and, uh, so like, so like, imagine like if we got to a point where I'm, man, I, I really, I knew I would do that. Well, either way I covered every, whoa there, buddy, relax. What was that? Windows. Oh, freaking windows. We're, we're going to have to fucking, we can't even do the bypass anymore. Windows. 